So at this point, we are going to learn how to find the length of a tangent from a point on the circle and also the conditions for a line to be a tangent to a circle. Now let's start off with how to find the length of a tangent from a point on the circle. Now let's assume that we have a circle and C is the center of the circle with coordinates a, B, assuming that we also have a point P, which has coordinates X, Y, also on the circumference of the circle. Now the distance between C and P is what we call the radius represented by the letter R. And the tangent line is the line that just touches the circle at point P. So this is the tangent line. Now this tangent line is perpendicular to the radius. Now assuming that we have a point that is point Q here, then it means that the length of the tangent line is the distance PQ. And let the distance between point C and point Q be D. Now using Pythagoras theorem, we can find the distance PQ, that is the length of the tangent line. So from Pythagoras theorem, from Pythagoras theorem, the distance CQ square is equal to CP square plus PQ square. Now the tangent line is the length or the distance PQ. So to find the value of PQ, we are going to transpose CP square to the left hand side. So we have CQ square minus CP square and that is equal to PQ square. So PQ is equal to the square root of CQ square minus CP square. Now from the diagram, you realize that CQ is represented by D. So this is D square. And then CP is also represented by R. That is the radius. So we have R square. Therefore, the length of the tangent line is equal to the square root of d square minus r square. Now using this approach, we are going to solve this question. Question 1. Find the length of the tangent from the point 5, 4 to the circle x square plus y square minus 10x plus 8y plus 5 equals 0. Now to solve this question, we need to find the center of the circle then that is going to help us to find the radius of the circle. Then we find the distance D and then using the formula for the length of the tangent, we can find the length of the tangent. Now we are given the equation of the circle to be X square plus Y square minus 10 X plus eight Y plus 5 equals 0. Now we are going to compare this to the general equation of a circle to find the center. So the general equation of a circle is given by x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. Now let's compare coefficients of the x term. So we have 2g equals negative 10, we divide through by 2, and then we have g equals negative 5. Also for the coefficient of the y term, we have 2f equals 8, we divide through by 2, and then we have f equals 4. Now we already know that the center is given by negative g, negative f, therefore we have the center 
to be 5 negative 4 so that is the center now let's find the radius so the radius is also given by the square root of j square plus f square minus c now c is the constant here so we are going to substitute the values of j f and then c we have j to be negative 5 so negative 5 square plus f is 4 so 4 square minus c we have c to be 5 5 square is 25 4 square is 16 and then minus 5 25 minus 5 is 20 20 plus 16 is 36 the square root of 36 is equal to 6 so we have the radius to be 6 units now let's move on and find the value of d now to find the value of d you know d is the distance between the center and the point q so we are going to find the distance or the magnitude of d so that is given by the square root of x2 minus x1 all square plus y2 minus y1 all square now x1 y1 are the coordinates of the center and then x2 y2 are the coordinates of the point q that is the point given in the question this is the point q so we have this one to be x2 y2 x2 is 5 minus x1 is 5 y2 is 4 minus y1 is negative 4 so this becomes plus 4 5 minus 5 is 0 0 squared is 0 4 plus 4 is 8 8 squared is 64 Therefore, we have d equals the square root of 64, and the square root of 64 is equal to 8. So it means that the distance or the magnitude of d is 8 units. Now, using the formula to find the length of the tangent, we say that the length of the tangent is given by the square root of d square minus r square we have d to be 8 so 8 square minus r square which is 6 square 8 square is 64 6 square is 36 64 minus 36 is equal to 28 and then the square root of 28 is equal to 2 root 7 so this is the length of the tangent from the point 5 4 to the circle now let's move on to the conditions for a line to be a tangent to a circle now a line is said to be a tangent to a circle if the perpendicular distance from the line to the center of the circle is equal to the radius a line is said to be a tangent to the circle or to a circle if the perpendicular distance from the line to the center of the circle is equal to the radius now we are going to explain that as we solve this question so we have the question determine whether or not the line 3x minus 4y plus 14 equals 0 is a tangent to the circle x square plus y square plus 4x plus 6y minus 3 equals 0 now what you are going to do with regards to this question is to first of all find the radius of the circle now after finding the radius of the circle we are going to investigate whether the distance from this line to the center of the circle is equal to the radius join me as we solve this question
So let's find the center of the circle. We have the circle x square plus y square plus 4x plus 6y minus 3 equals 0. Now we are going to find the radius. So we need to compare that with the general equation of a circle. So comparing coefficient of x and y, for the x we have 4 equals 2 g, we divide through by 2, we have g to be equal to 2. Now we have 2 f equals 6, we divide through by 2, and then we have f to be equal to 3. Therefore we have the center as negative g, negative f, so the center is negative 2 negative 3 this is the center of the circle now let's find the radius so radius is the square root of j square plus f square minus c we have g to be negative 2 we have f to be negative 3 and then we have c to be negative 3 so this becomes plus 3 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, plus 3, and that is equal to 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16. So the square root of 16 is equal to 4. So we have the radius to be 4 units. Now let's find the perpendicular distance from the line 3x minus 4y plus 14 to the center of the circle and then if we do that and then we arrive at the answer 4 units then it means that this line is a tangent to the circle so how do we find the distance now the distance or the perpendicular distance is given by the magnitude of the line 3x minus 4y plus 14 divided by the square root of x square plus y square now x square y square represents the coefficients of x and y in the general equation of the straight line now the general equation of a straight line is given by ax plus by plus c equals zero so in order to insert in the values of x and then y you need to ensure that the equation of the straight line is already in the general form it's already in this form so if that is the case then you can substitute in the coefficient of x and then y and then for the numerator the x and y represent the coordinates of the center it represents the coordinates of the center. So we are going to substitute these values into um, in this equation. So we are going to have 3 times negative 2 minus 4 times negative 3 plus 14 divided by the square root of... Now this x represents, I mean the coefficient of x here, which is 3. So 3 square. This y also represents the coefficient of y in this equation. That is the equation of a line. So that is negative 4 square. And then we have d equals 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 4 times negative 3 is 12. And then plus 14 divided by. Now the square root of. 3 squared plus negative 4 squared is equal to square root of 25, which is equal to 5. Negative 6 plus 12 is 6. 6 plus 14 is 20. So we have 20 divided by 5. And this is equal to 4. So we have D to be 4 units. Therefore, since 
r is equal to d is equal to four units it follows that the line 3x minus 4y plus 14 equals 0 is a tangent to the circle x square plus y square plus 4x plus 6y minus 3 equals 0.